Hi, welcome to the PZ Engineering channel, Passion to Excel. In this video, we are going to do a review on the battery management strategy in hybrid energy storage system for transport vehicles. Before we go through our review, I would like first to request, if you are not yet part of our family, please subscribe to our channel, share our content, comment and like this video. You can as well join our membership team and donate to our channel in order to have special attention in your comment, have access in our model and as well to have a special guidance on your projects. Now, let's do our review on the battery management strategy in hybrid energy storage system for transport vehicles. As we know that most of the electrical vehicles or hybrid vehicles, they are using a hybrid energy storage system, which consists of battery to battery or battery with another type of energy storage device. Introduction in our introduction, we have a hybrid energy storage system. It is a combination of two or more energy storage technology which complementarily characteristic to provide an optimal solution not achievable by any one technology. Now, the idea is we combine the two different energy devices where we use the the, the advantage of each one to combine a hybrid energy storage system. The most common type used are the battery with a battery and old battery with ultra capacitor or super capacitor, but now they are also using fuel cells and other type of energy technology. In our background, Starter Lightning and Ignition SLI batteries are used in transport vehicles for the following reasons. First is the starting function, which to start the car, and the service function, which to service the car during the journey. There is a, in this table, we are going to show a main difference between the traditional vehicles and current vehicles. But now, even these current vehicles, there are, other, uh, there are more laws that have been added in the latest cars that they are not here. But this is just to have an idea of the reason why the, the, the load was increased. The load demand is increased in transport vehicles, which somehow it increased the demand on the battery. And for this reason, that's why the most of Many cars now they are current they are currently coming as a hybrid and just with the hybrid energy storage system. As I say, the increase of load demand in transport vehicles consequently demand on the battery also increases. There is a need to increase the efficiency of the battery in terms of lifespan and energy storage capacity. Currently, no single there is a single battery technology is able to fulfill all those requirements. Therefore, there is a need to develop a new hybrid energy storage system. Study going, there are many studies going on and there are many published articles, papers that have been published about the hybrid energy storage system. And most common is the battery with ultra or super capacitor. And then recently, there are some studies on lead acid and lithium ion, or in another way, they are hybridizing the battery, a different type of a batteries. And hybrid energy storage system. The hybrid energy storage system has the following advantage compared with a single battery. They improve vehicle acceleration, they improve overall drive efficiency, thereby increase the driving range, reduce the life cycle cost by extending the battery life. Reduce the cap capital cost by direct replacement of some batteries and as well increase the energy and power density of the hybrid energy storage system. Management system. In the management system we can use a battery energy storage battery management system or energy storage system.
type of topology used in the hybrid energy storage system. The first one is a passive strategy. It is known as a least cost, but in this strategy, there is no energy management because there is no a DC DC backup, there is no converter used here. The second one we have is the active or semi active strategy. In the semi active strategy, we have one DC DC converter which can be used for one of the energy storage system. And this DC DC converter is used to manage the energy between one of the energy storage system. As you can see here, we are using lithium ion battery and lead acid battery. It can be connected to lithium ion or to the lead acid battery. And then we have our, the last the, the last one we have our full active topology. Full active topology, two energy storage system, two DC DC converter used in two in the system in each each battery is having its own energy storage system the full active topology the charging and discharging current of the two batteries is controlled by using dedicated di by directional dc dc converter this topology can can provide a better control within the two energy storage system it provides a flexible in using different it it, it flexibility in using batteries with different voltage capacities and the topology helps the system to operate in a constant current mode to decrease the stress of the battery thus increase the lifespan of the battery. Now we have a different type of battery management strategies that can be used in our in our systems. We have here we have our we have our whole base control and we have our optimal base control and there are papers available where we can can get in detail each of the strategy, but they are in the whole base control, you have a whole base and you have a fuzzy logic. In the optimal base control, we have global optimization and real-time optimization. You can do research on it. And here I have our proposed topology. The proposed topology is used a full active topology where a DC-DC converter, a two DC converter is used in our model, which will control its own battery. And as well, at the same time, while manage, while controlling the different voltage levels, and as well controlling the discharging and discharging current that's going to come. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share our contents, comment, and like this video. In our next videos, we will you can watch the hyper energy storage system simulating in our MATLAB simulating software.